Imagine a particle that exceeds the cosmic speed limit and moves faster than light. Surprisingly, this idea is not just science fiction, but the result of some physical models. However, whether hypothetical tachyons are compatible with the theory of relativity and can be described using quantum field theories has long been hotly debated among experts. Join us on this cosmic journey, faster than light speed, discoveries about dark matter, put physics to the test. Until now, physicists have proposed groundbreaking new solutions to this dilemma, providing fresh material for discussion among experts. But how is it even possible for tachyons to outrun light? What problems do they pose for researchers, and how might they help us unravel the agonizing mystery of dark matter? Some things are fundamental to physics. All bodies with mass attract each other. On Earth, all bodies fall downward, toward the center of the Earth. Above all, nothing is faster than light, or so it might seem. In reality, the world of physics also contains a hypothetical particle that could be called the cosmic speedy Gonzales, a particle that zips through space at faster than light speeds and can even travel backward in time. At first glance, we might associate the breathtaking properties of tachyons only with science fiction films like Star Wars. After all, they starkly contradict Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that nothing can surpass the speed of light in a vacuum. The speed of light is around 300,000 kilometers per second, or 1.08 billion kilometers per hour, and not even massless particles like photons can exceed this incredible speed. Yet sometimes, a theoretical loophole can give life a speed advantage. In 1962, several physicists pointed out that there are various solutions to the equations of the special theory of relativity. One solution corresponds to normal matter moving at sublight speeds, but another, this is the exciting part, allows for particles that constantly race through space at faster than light speeds and cannot be slowed down to the speed of light. Against this backdrop, American physicist Gerald Feinberg introduced three terms in 1967 to categorize these particles based on their properties. According to this classification, tardons always move slower than light, Luxons travel at the constant speed of light, and tachyons always exceed the speed of light. In the end, however, only the latter term gained prominence. It should be noted that while tachyons represent a mathematical solution to the equations of the special theory of relativity, this does not necessarily mean they exist. So, how do they manage to leave light behind? How is this even possible? How can a particle travel faster than light? To understand this, we need to examine the theoretical calculations and resulting characteristics of tachyons more closely. Experts in the 1960s discovered that theoretically, there could be particles with a negative square mass, allowing them to surpass Einstein's speed limit. For this to happen, these particles would need to travel exclusively at faster than light speeds. This is possible because tachyons lose mass and energy as their speed increases reversing the typical pattern observed in normal particles. Conversely, this means tachyons would require an infinite amount of energy to be slowed down to light speed or below. But how can superluminal particles actually be created? Feinberg also proposed an explanation for this. Similar to the Higgs boson, tachyons might be formed through the spontaneous symmetry breaking of a scalar field present in the cosmos. This field interacts with matter, and the resulting structures are sometimes suspected to be involved in the creation of the mysterious dark energy. While the existence of tachyons can be explained fairly simply at first glance, the situation becomes much more complicated from a physical perspective. Although superluminal particles can be described within the frameworks of string theory and the Casimir effect, they cannot be accommodated within the currently valid quantum field theory. Experts point to three serious problems that make tachyons a fast-moving impossibility. The first complication is that the energy of a tachyon could assume negative values under certain conditions, which conventional wisdom deems impossible. The next hurdle concerns stability. Previous calculations suggest that the quantum tachyon field would be unstable in its ground state, potentially triggering a tsunami of superluminal particles. Finally, the number of tachyons could change depending on the observer's state, which contradicts the current model. This new model solves the tachyon problem. 
While most researchers consider tachyons to be unwanted artifacts due to their theoretical issues, the team led by Jorgen Post from Stockholm University saw them as a challenge that needed to be overcome. During their research, the experts concluded that the three fundamental obstacles might be based on a critical misconception. What does this mean? Post's group demonstrated that the problems stem from an incorrect representation of the Lorentz group in a Hilbert space that is too small. To put this in context, the Lorentz group describes the symmetry of the equations governing the laws of nature, including Einstein's field equations. The Hilbert space, for instance, describes the possible states of a quantum physical scalar field. In simple terms, the experts attribute the tachyon problem to the fact that the conditions for their physical integration have so far been constrained by an overly narrow framework. In this respect, it must be considered that tachyons move in a different time frame. As briefly mentioned earlier, they could theoretically travel backward in time. As a result, not only the initial state, but also the final state of the system must be included in tachyon models. Therefore, the state of space must be expanded. The idea that the future can directly influence the present is not new. However, this phenomenon could also lead to an absurdity in our understanding of causality. After all, in this case, the effect would precede the cause. Perhaps this is why this assumption has so far been regarded as an unconventional interpretation of certain quantum phenomena. Yet, the new study shows that expanding Hilbert space eliminates the three basic problems in the quantum physical description of superluminal particles. By doubling the Hilbert space, physicists create a mathematically coherent framework that allows for the correct quantization of tachyon fields. The particles can, therefore, be integrated into quantum field theory. But that's not all. According to the researchers, incorporating tachyons could also help solve some of the mysteries surrounding the Higgs boson and the origin of its quantum field. In particular, the dynamics of the phase transition are still shrouded in mystery. Whether the latest findings from the experts in Stockholm will one day lead to these physical secrets being unveiled remains to be seen. For now, they must endure the critical voices from within their own circles. Kof Josie from the Institute of Fundamental Research in Seoul believes that the proposed theory is untenable. He argues that it fundamentally violates the locality principle of interactions. According to Josie, it is unlikely that particles with negative square mass exist, and therefore, tachyons likely do not exist either. He suggests that the adjusted equations exhibit unphysical behavior that doesn't make sense. Whether particles that move faster than light exist remains controversial. However, their existence is now being debated not only in the world of imaginative sci-fi authors, but also among renowned researchers who may soon shed more light on this cosmic mystery. Does dark matter consist of tachyons? Although the existence of tachyons has not been empirically proven, some experts suspect their influence in the universe could be far more significant than previously thought. A new study has concluded that tachyons may be part of the mysterious dark matter that the research community has been searching for so long. It is well known that the true origins of dark matter have always been elusive. Its existence is postulated in the standard model of cosmology to explain the movement of visible matter, particularly the speed at which stars orbit the center of their galaxy. However, as dark matter does not interact with other matter or electromagnetic radiation, it is invisible and can only be detected through its gravitational effects. However, dark matter consisting of tachyons would explain why experts have yet to determine what they are dealing with. The researchers calculated that a cosmos filled with tachyons could initially slow down its expansion and then accelerate again, just as astronomers observe in the universe. It is generally assumed that dark energy is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos. Accordingly, the idea of a tachyon cosmology model could explain both dark matter and dark energy. To compare their theoretical considerations with real data, the researchers relied on observations of type 1a supernovae. These supernovae always explode with the same brightness, making them useful points for determining distance in astronomy. Remarkably, the researchers found that the tachyon model could explain the supernova data just as plausibly as the standard cosmological model with dark matter and dark energy. 
So does this mean that dark matter and dark energy actually consist of tachyons? Well, not necessarily. First, researchers must prove that tachyons really exist. In theory, the tachyon cosmology model, similar to string theory, can explain many things. But in practice, it would also give rise to a new series of enormous problems. Chief among these would be the problem of time. The causal flow of time from the past to the future, on which our entire world is based, would lose its validity in this form. But what do we know? Maybe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.